Alright guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to go over every common option there is on Forescan, alright? Everything you can do. Okay, so this is kind of like Forescan 102, right? You already have the adapter, the OBT2 port. You already have the registration. You're already ready to go. We just got to figure out what options do you have? What do you want to change? So we're going to start real quick by the daytime running lights, okay? Daytime running lights, you can actually choose which lights you want on off. I'm not going to tell you exactly what the codes are. Uh, I could just tell you that it's in the BCM. Um, there's all, I have other videos that kind of discuss exactly how to set them and what options you have. So that's one. Okay, now power fold mirrors. You see how the mirrors are open right now? As soon as you lock the truck, they close. You unlock the truck, they stay closed. This is the auto fold mirrors with Lincoln style. Without the Lincoln style, it's unlock and lock, basically opens and closes it. But here it does not open until you go in the truck and you close the door or turn the truck on. Turn the truck on, see, they start opening. To see a little bit more about the auto fold mirrors, um, check out Beeman FX4 on, F on f154m.com. He has a really good write-up on how to set it up, especially with the tow mirrors. You can add tow mirrors and they're still do the same. You just have to switch over some pins. Okay, now keeping in mind, the mirrors also have the option for you to tilt. In order to do that, you have to have these memories. You have to have these memory buttons and it'll tilt the mirrors when you reverse. All right, then we got the global window up and down. It only works in the front windows and again, locking the truck once, holding it down or unlocking it and holding it down, opens the windows up. Mm, it's gonna be locking. All right, and then just holding the lock button for about seven seconds. Puts them back up. Okay, double honk. The truck does not honk if you if you have the keys or the truck is on and you walk away and then go back towards the truck. It does not double honk at you. Okay, so that's another thing you can remove. And you're also looking at the Canadian daytime running lights. This is an option that's in the dash and the IPC. Um, daytime running lights, you can just have the option with it like you can in the United States or Mexico. By Canadian law, I believe there's a Canadian law that says that you can't have the option to remove daytime running lights. Okay, so speaking of the lights, you also have the option for Bambi mode, which turns on all the lights. Low beam, high beam, and fog lights. Now, in a lot of places, this is illegal also. You can only have four lights, but depends on your state. Check your state, see what you can and can't do. Okay, auto lock is whenever you unlock the truck, you unlock it, and you decide not to go to it, after about 30 seconds or 45 seconds, depending what setting you have it on, it'll automatically relock. Okay, so now secure idle, if you have the truck that's on and you walk away with the keys, nobody can jump in the truck and change the gear. The gear does not change unless you have the keys in. Um, without the secure idle, it actually will. As long as the truck is on, it'll let you engage, disengage any gears, even if the key is not present. Okay, you can also change the panic alarm setting. This is the panic alarm right here. If you push it just once, nothing happens. Just like that. Okay, but if you push it twice, okay. Now moving on to the inside of the truck, you got first of all the auto start, auto stop, and you can disable that. You can disable it permanently, or you can just disable it uh, with the button on off. There's also a hard wire fix for that too. It's a pretty cheap wire also to do. So there's options. You can also add navigation to the 2015 F-150s with Sync 2. Okay, so now let's talk about the chimes. So you can have the truck on, or at least halfway on, and there's no chime. Door opening, it'll tell you door's ajar, but it won't chime. Bing, 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 nothing. When you start the truck first, it doesn't do the doo-doo-doo, doo-doo-doo. That's something you can disable also. Those are the doo-doo-doos. I think that's what it literally says, doo-doo-doos on it. All right, so what else? Let's see, you got the seatbelts. So you can disable passenger or driver or both. All right, so now looking at, let's see if we can go through these. Looking at the dash here, you can also add temperature gauges as well as, as, well as uh, moving or changing that startup screen from F-150 to Lobo or to nothing at all. And I think the newer 
Fords don't say Lobo, they actually say Fuerza Ford or Ford Tough, something like that. All right, you also got the blinkers. Tapping it once will blink however many times you want. You can choose one, two, five, seven, whatever you want. Okay, you can also see under the tire pressure, it'll tell you what the specified number is, 35. This one's a little bit low. Next is navigation. On 2015, you can add the navigation. If only on 2015 with Sync 2, it works. Any others, it does not. All right, then you also got the fake engine noise, which is just like an enhanced engine sound whenever you accelerate on these vehicles. You got the, the options here for the heated seats or AC seats or even the heated steering wheel on the menu. You can do that also. You also got the PowerPoint timeout. Well, this stuff here will typically time out as soon as you can't turn it on as soon as you exit the vehicle, but you can make it either with a hard wire or with force scan to be extended. Now, mine doesn't work well. Uh, as soon as I open the door, it turns off. If anybody has a solution for that, if anybody sees anything different, let me know. I'd love to hear it. All right, you also got hill descent. You can, if you don't have this option, you can also add the option just by the button, by the this here and you have a straight plug behind it and you just have to add it to the ABS okay so speaking of options you can add this trailer control here you can add this also not only the control itself but also you can go high or low on the tra trailer brakes and it also shows up on your IPC all right so one thing that I haven't done myself you can do parallel parking with this but it doesn't let you do the perpendicular parking, but out here you can add it. So here, let's turn the truck on. All right, so if you push this button here, let me just put it in drive. Oh, damn it, wrong button. All right, so parallel parking. If you push the button here, you can also parallel park. This one doesn't give you the option for perpendicular park, but I'm going to try adding it on. So don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to try to uh, do a video where I parallel and perpendicular park. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of rain. I'm going to wipe this stuff down. Let's turn that off. All right, so you also have the stereo to be extended play. Like whenever you have it actually off, the radio will still play. As long as the, the push the button on, the radio will play. See? Truck is off but the radio is still playing, right? All right, then you can also add remote start. Remote start with uh, either factory or aftermarket. You can add remote start to your vehicle with force scan. Mine has it on here, right? The double lock and then double to start the vehicle. Then you also have the intrusion sensors, which is these, are these sensors right here. These are four sensors. Um, you can add this to the vehicle also. If you want to look up information on how to do that, there's a, a guy, his name is Fire Runner. And on F-115 Forum, he also did a pretty good write-up on how to install it and then set Forescan to be able to make it work. All right, then if you don't have a reverse camera, you don't have a touch screen, you have the smaller, like, I think it's like a four-inch screen, you can add the camera in the back and then use Forescan to activate the actual option to, to view the, the camera here. All right, and then you also have the option to change the screen, the intro, and this actual screen itself, not the background. The background is actually something you can customize here, and I'm going to make a video on how to do that also. But there's a, the theme itself, whether it's Lincoln or Ford or Mustang GT or SVT, Raptor, you can change the theme of whatever the Sync 3 is. All right, guys, so a couple things, and this is something that comes up every once in a while for me. This is the lane, to stay in the actual lane. See, you can turn it off, turn it back on. Sometimes that doesn't work for me, I don't know why. Anyways, if you go into settings here, to the very right, you can also add some of these options that are in here, whether it's the locks, lock, unlock, the alarm, right, as if you have the perimeter system. And running boards also, if you can add that, if you have power running boards, you can make them go out or whatever. 
Okay, so two more things I want to let you know. Um, the speaker, you can add a subwoofer. So this truck comes with a subwoofer. Let me show you. All right, so behind the seat. Now, pick this up. I added a little string here to be able to pick this up like that so it loosens up. But you can see there's a amp and subwoofer. This is stock. Actually sounds pretty good, I think. I'm not a pro, not a sound pro, but I think it sounds great. This is a Sony one. And you can also add this to yours and just let Forescan know that it's connected and it'll work with power and everything. These might be the actual controls for it. If you ever see anything like this, this is a module. These are the modules that you work with. Either passenger door, driver doors, the IPC, BCM, the mirror, everything. Everything has a module like this. All right, so speaking of the speaker system, Speaking of the speaker system, um, Dan MC85, and shout out to him because he has an awesome write up on how to connect the amp or an aftermarket amp with uh, clear sounds from the radio itself. Um, look him up on 2gforums.net. Sorry, it's look him up on 2gfusions.net. All right, let's put this back up here. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, like I said earlier, there'll be some more, more videos coming up. So hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever they're coming out. It's like it's about to rain. What a shame. We do need a little rain, though.